And Juan, uh, as far as this, this fitna is concerned, it is something that without doubt uh, in our time, the Salafi needs to be aware of. Because many will come in the guise of Salafiyya and will refer to themselves as people of Sunnah and Salafiyya. And the whole of their da'wah, Ikhwan revolves around this da'wah of Tamiyya. And that is the mi'yar and that is the yardstick with them. Anyone that they see to be good, as, good as, as good and balanced are those who are either mumayya or have fallen into an element of Tamiyya in some way, shape or form. And so they find them favorable because of the fact that they're upon this tamir, this weakening of the manhaj salafi and the methodology of the salaf of this ummah. And fairly recently, our mashaykh ikhwan, they uh, were focusing upon this affair. Lectures, writings, books, because of the fact that it is manifest, that it is widespread across the globe. And in every place, we have syndicates of individuals upon this methodology of tamir. And that, no doubt, Ikhwan, is something that each Salafi needs to be aware of. Because we oftentimes hear people saying, I, to be honest with you, can't see the difference between these brothers. Everyone calls to Sunnah, everyone calls to Salafi, all of them call to Sunnah and Salafiyya, and they quote the same scholars and so on. But if one analyzes and looks into those who have been spoken against from them, you will see the reason for this speech and the reason for the kalam against them is because they are proponents of this methodology of Tamir. And so you'll find them lambasting no one but the people of Sunnah and Salafiyya. Ahlul Bid'a, all of them, their tongues are saved from them. All of Ahlul Bid'a, mashallah. Yani, no, not kalimat instinkar or a word of rad against them. For years. And every new mubtadi' that arises, you will never hear a rad coming from these individuals against them, clarifying their fitna, clarifying the evil of them. You won't find that. But as soon as someone stands against the people of Sunnah, they're galvanized. Chests are expanded. And all of a sudden, they're active. Some of them, after years, Ikhwan, of, of being static and inactive. All of a sudden, we're galvanized now. Why? Because the people of Sunnah and Salafi are being attacked. We find an opportunity, there is an opening, let us join the push against them. Be aware, Ikhwan, be astute. Don't let individuals come and rock and shake and weaken the foundations that you have. And this is one of the greatest bit of fitna and the greatest evil that Ahlul Sunnah need to be cautious of. And that, without doubt, when we see and we look, Again, at all of these groups that are being spoken against, and people are saying we're not able to discern, look at the affair of their stance with the people of innovation. Analyze that. What is their position concerning the mubtadi'ah? Where are their rududat and where are their refutations against them? Do they clarify? Do they give the nasiha that is wajiba and necessary? Or is the only rad that they do against the people of Sunnah and Salafiyya, and other people of innovation saved from them. Just make that analysis.